Hello, everybody. This is Julie D from NordoniaHills.News, and this is Jabbering with Julie. Welcome to the show. So, you know, I always say this, I always say I have a lot to talk about, but today I have a lot to talk about. Yes, yes, yes. So um, let's get right to it. Okay, first of all, I have something behind me here. What could I be talking about? And I must apologize for the people that don't want to talk about Christmas and the holidays because I do have some things on the show that are related to that. So that is a hint. Um, so anyways, let me just switch around here and give you more, uh, more, a more visual. So I think you probably know what I'm talking about, but let me get you another picture here to solidify your pick. All right. So does this help? Christmas trees. Uh, so I was out driving around the other day, like I do, and I ran into, and I was actually going to grab a picture of this, and I ran into Hugo. Let me see if I can get a picture of Hugo here. Smile for the camera, Hugo. This is Hugo and his son, Nicholas. Um, so I, anyway, I ran into Hugo and um, got to talk to him about his tree business. He has been selling trees in this area for 20 years. You may recall he um, originally had his trees for sale at the corner of Route 8 and 82 in Macedonia. And then obviously when they put first watch in there, um, he, there was no place for him to sell his trees because everybody knows that parking lot by first watch is crowded at certain times of days. So anyways, he moved up here and you may know he has been selling his trees now in the Peppers um, parking lot in Norfolk Village for many, many years. And it, you can't miss it, it's right by the street. So um, he will be selling, he told me, he will be starting to sell his trees the day after Thanksgiving. So if, you're, you know, if your artificial tree is looking a little ragged and you want something that smells good and is a real tree, then you know where to go. Talk to Hugo. And maybe his son Nicholas will be there too. So that is what I wanted to start with. And again, there's so much to talk about. Uh, let's see. So the next thing, the next thing I want to tell you about is Epaki is finally opening. Yay, I've been talking about Epaki for weeks. So we are so happy to announce that they are gonna be opening on uh, Friday of this coming week. And they do things a little differently. So I wanted to explain how it all works. Um, <clears throat> first of all, they're gonna open in the, for the beginning uh, delivery only. So they will be delivering food to the Nordonia area. Um, so that's cool. Um, I have a message here from the owner and he said, we're setting the bar for the next generation of restaurant businesses. We maximize freshness. Yeah, I can't talk. We maxim. I really can't talk. We maximize freshness by emphasizing our zero waste policy, reducing our footprint for the next generation, and are committed to an all-inclusive space. So they're 100% digital. They accept pre-order takeout and catering orders only. All orders must be placed the midnight the day prior. So they're going to be opening on Friday. So you need to get your order in on Thursday by midnight. Um, they're also going to be opening on, on Saturday. So for Saturday, you need to get your order in by Friday at midnight. Um, I will be putting up the link so you can actually start ordering on Tuesday. So that'll be exciting. You can like set what you're going to have, get it all ready, and then have it delivered Friday or Saturday. Isn't that great? Uh, the food is, is very good too. I've been sampling it for weeks. <laughs> I can tell you it is, is, it is wonderful. So by doing it this way, um, having people pre-order their food, it allows for him to have pickup, well, delivery of super fresh cooked just for you meal. Their menu will fluctuate every 
Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. So going forward, they're actually actually going to be open on Tuesdays as well. And I I think Tuesdays are going to be Taco Tuesdays, but there'll be other items on the menu on Tuesdays as well. And again, their goal is to um, have zero waste. So by ordering ahead, he'll know exactly what to cook and he'll make it just the way you like it. There'll be lots of options. When you order online, you can check the box and tell them how you, know, how you want it to be. So this means it'll be ultimate fresh and ultimately made just for you. This is Epaki Cafe. So I'm so excited to finally announce this. And just in case you didn't know, Epaki means without judgment, which we definitely need more of in this world. So welcome Epaki, finally. We've been waiting. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else I have for you today. Oh, speaking of food, I have another food related story. And this actually, you, you already know because I told you about this last week, but I just wanted to give you an update that the SWAT food truck has now taken over the kitchen at the VFW. So it is now a ghost kitchen. And this has nothing to do with Halloween. Nothing to do with Halloween. Um, they are now located at the uh, VFW hall. They're open three to nine. Um, you'll have to check on the days, um, but you know, find them anywhere you are. They have social media and website. SWAT food truck is the name. And I'm telling you good food, good sandwiches, um, good um, brisket, you know, cause he, he smokes his meats and, and um, other items. I'm telling you this town has good food. I love it. You know, and, and there's something to be said for, um, you know, mom and pop type places who put their personal touch on things. All right. So, um, mom, mom, mom. so we talked about Christmas trees and food. All right. So we have some new businesses coming to town. Now I did talk about the pet food, pet food. I really can't talk today. I talked about the pet store coming in Norfolk Village and that should be opening the beginning of December. And I hope to have more update for you in the next couple of weeks on their progress. And I might even have some pictures of, you know, um, their progress. And they are currently have a store in Stowe. So if you go there, uh, Animal Jungle Pet Shop um, in Stowe, this is the same owner and it's the same store, um, you know, similar. It's going to be a similar store. So that'll be cool. Um, so she's not moving, but for the people that like her store and live around here, it'll be much more convenient for them, which is always good. Uh, okay. So another place opening up, actually this just opening, I was at the grand opening this weekend is rising Phoenix transformation, uh, owned by John Young. He is a personal trainer and, uh, we got some pictures here. Oh, can't see him. There's John with his wife, Teresa, and his mom, Kim, and his dad, Don. So anyways, I'll show you some more pictures here. Uh, first of all, I will show you where it is located. There are so many businesses in Norfolk Village along Route 8. I thought I would give a picture here. So it is uh, like right around here. And um, again, you could go there. It's a, a small place. It's not a large gym. So it's more of a personal training experience. So you can go there and get some tips from him. He can show you what moves to make and he can help you work out. And, you know, his big thing is really helping people lose weight. And, you know, obviously with the first of the January coming up, that's going to be a lot of goals for people. And I've known the family for years. And I'm telling you, John has really turned his life around so he can help you with your goals as well. I have some more pictures too. I thought you might want to see the inside. Oh, let's see. So here he has some weights. Yeah, I'm not going to be lifting those big ones. I'm going to be, a, I can handle, I can handle those little pink ones there. And they match my shirt. And let's see what else we got. I just want to kind of show you how the space is laid out. It's it's kind of a narrow, a narrow place, which is good now because it, obviously with it being a small place, you know, he's probably only going to have one person in there. 
you and him at a time. So it's, it's narrow and he has lots of equipment and a little place in case you have a little one, we can watch you work out. And that'd be, that be, wouldn't that be something? Because sometimes it's really hard to get a sitter and you want to get an hour, you know, in and um, they have that facility there. So let's see, I thought I had one more. Oh, yes. Yeah. So his, um, the name is Rising Phoenix Transformation. And he has that up on the wall. Isn't that beautiful? All right. Next, speaking of new businesses in the village. Um, opening up, there's a grand opening is November 21st. Let me load this up for you. Do, 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 do. Well, you can't see the flyer, um, but I'll, I will put links to all the flyers I talked about today in uh, the description. So this is, I think I told you a while ago that they were coming to town. They are doing something a little different. So their grand opening, like I said, is November 21st um, at noon. And you will be, it, it, it's parking lot only. So you pull in the parking lot and she will give you a turkey. She only has a limited amount of turkeys to give away. Um, so it's a grand opening turkey drive. Um, so she will be opening. Um, let me tell you about the age ranges, infants, They'll be six weeks to 12 months, toddlers, 13 months to 36 months, and she'll take preschool children, three years to five years. She has before school, school age, and after school, and she will also have summer camps. Uh, let's see. So for the um, November 21st thing, please arrive at noon, first come, first serve, face mask is required, a Roman packets will be given to parents, and she is located 105. 78 Norfield Road, Norfield, Ohio, 44067. Um, so she is located where the um, the Kung Fu place was. And for those of you who've been around a while, it was the former Burger King. Um, so, and I wanna show you. So Little Busy Bees Early Learning Centers grand opening is November 21st and it's a turkey drive. So the people that come to pick up their enrollment packets will be given a turkey. I will be interviewing her this week on Zoom. Uh, so I'll get more information about that. Uh, but she will take school-aged children before and after school and um, also summer camps. She'll have infants, toddlers, preschool. And her grand opening, like I said, is the 21st. Please arrive at noon. And it'll be first come, first serve. Everybody must wear a mask. Um, and again, I will have more information about that coming soon. Well, you know, um, I'm having technical difficulties with Zoom today. So what are you going to do about that, right? Well, anyways, technical difficulties here in Zoom land. Apologize for that. I'm just gonna keep talking. I won't change my background because it won't let me. Oh, I wonder if it'll let me put my TV screen up. Let's do a little test on that. Let's see if it lets me do that. All right, well, at least that's something. <laughs> All right, let me finish telling you what I was gonna tell you. Um, so anyways, uh, I'll give you more information in, um, in the description down below. So you can, you can find the flyer for the, um, the daycare. And um, also I wanted to tell you about the school is doing something very different this year for the holidays. In the past, they would have a winter fest and that would happen all day long and the kids would come in and every class would sing or perform and they had the band and, um, and then they had cookies and Santa and it was a major production. Well, they wanna still do something for the students this year. So on Saturday, December 12th at the high school from 9 a.m. to 12, um, they are having a, well, they're calling it Visit the Nordonia North Pole. Bring your letter and snap a pic with Santa. If taking a social distancing pic with Santa, um, cars may park in the back lot. 
So I guess it must be something parking lot related. They will have music from the Nordonia High School and Middle School Bands and Choir. You can pre-order Stan's um, Bakery and Reinecker's Bakery for pickup. And they will also deliver it to your car by Friendly Elves. Um, so the other thing that's kind of cool, watch for the Santa Claus scavenger hunt in the community all on social media, December 1st through the 12th. Bring your guesses to the Nordonia North Pole for a chance to win gift cards from local businesses. Look for Nordonia North Pole Santa Scavenger Hunt on Facebook to participate and see flyers. Um, so we will, I will have that information for you as well. All right, so um, <clears throat> I have more new business for you <laughs> to tell you about. If you follow us on social media, you probably already know about this, but um, the Loose Moose is gonna be opening up soon. And um, that is located in Sagmore. Um, how do I describe it? When you drive in the Sagmore Plaza, it's, it's on the left side. And um, Loose Moose was open a few months ago and um, basically what happened is they got new owners. And um, I think I had told you a while ago that there was a, a Greek place going in the front where seven to seven was. So the owners of the Greek place, the new Greek place bought the Loose Moose. So they're still renovating the front um, for their Greek restaurant, but they are gonna be getting the Loose Moose open as soon as possible. And as soon as that happens, we'll let you know. Um, but the Greek place is going to be called Yanni's Greek Taverna. So, and it, you know, that's not going to be open right away. When I walked, when I was there the other day, they busted out uh, one of the big windows on the, um, uh, on the, um, the side face in the parking lot. So there's a lot of renovations going on in there. That's going to be really interesting to see what that turns out to be. In the meantime, the Loose Moose will be opening up soon and they're going to have they're going to be changing their menu and trimming the menu a little bit, um, offering some really good sandwiches and, you know, typical bar food. Um, and they have the same chef, Derek. So that's good for continuity's sake. Ah, uh, so I told you there's a lot going on. I also want to tell you a little bit. Um, this past week, there was a Norfolk Village Council meeting and um, the big discussion at, during the meeting was the you know, they're discussing purchasing a new fire truck and several members of council were for this. And obviously the police chief has done his research and he explained all the reasons why they need a new fire truck. Um, and the mayor is just wanting to, to wait. And um, actually um, a member of council as well um, thinks this, that they should wait and not purchase a truck at this time. So you can actually hear the meeting and see the meeting. We have a podcast up of the meeting. We also have a videotape of the virtual meeting and um, a nice story written by Emily Chesnick. So all of that's on our website. So you can read more about it. And then um, the next day, the Mastonia had a council meeting and um, um, they, they had like 11 ordinances they passed. So there is a lot going on in Macedonia as well. But I wanted to let you know that they, um, unanimously approved a job creation program agreement between uh, Royal Chemical and the city of Macedonia. Royal Chemical is located at 8679 South Freeway Drive. So it's an 80-year-old an company. They began manufacturing laundry detergent in the city of Cleveland. And recently here in town, they were looking for um, maybe, the, you know, potentially moving because they needed to expand um, and they were able to work out an agreement with Macedonia. So now they will be staying uh, because of the grant program. So that's, that's good. So Royal Chemical looks like it's gonna be staying. You know, the city of Macedonia tries to work with businesses when they possibly can. So I am sorry that, you know, Zoom decided not to work today. At least it's still recording, I think. And um, hopefully Zoom will get their act together and get their problems fixed um, ASAP. It'd be nice to have it, you know, fixed for the next show. Because I'm sure I will have a lot to talk about. And before I go, I just want to give a shout out to Bart Benjamin and uh, Maria Santoli and Kayla, her soon-to-be daughter-in-law. Um, they run five, um, high five, 
<laughs> fingerprinting. And um, I just wanna give that shout out to them and Marcus and Mark, because that family and Bart Benjamin are super fans of this show and have been watching me from the very beginning. So I just wanna give them a shout out and say, hey. So I hope everybody has a great day, whatever day it is that you're watching this. I'm actually recording this before the Browns game, so go Browns. And um, I just want everybody to have a great day. So see you, in the <laughs> see you later. Bye.